Oh, I'm the internet and I'm okay. I'm Jupiter at night and I'm live. Hooray! Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Jupiter at Night. My name is Chris. And I'm John. Yo, there. Hey there, John. Yeah. Hey, Chris. Hey, so uh, all this week, Johnny, while you were out uh, being Johnny, yes. and we were here being like I Chris do. and Jeremy, uh -huh. not Chris and Johnny, right. we were doing shows about the future of technology. Interesting. On Tuesday's episode, we covered NFC and then mobile payments through your smartphone, kind of eliminating mm -hmm. the wallet. Mm -hmm. And then yesterday on Wednesday's show, we covered the future of augmented reality. Maybe that's wow. going and so tonight we thought maybe we'd talk a little bit about 3D printing. Okay. And uh, we've got, uh, but we wanted to do an open line south thing. We've got the chat room up, mm -hmm. and uh, we've also got uh, the Skype line open. We've already got Peregrine Falcon dialed in. We're going to get to him in a, just a second. But uh, before we get to that, Johnny, I thought you should tell people about the new camera that uh, your company released today. Okay. <laughs> he didn't want to do this, so I put it on well, the spot. Yeah, it's, it's nothing that fancy. It's just a... Uh, it's actually really fancy. You just want to talk about because it's future technology. It but is. It's, it's just a... Uh, What's the company name again? I, it's Contour. Contour. Yeah, right. it's, it's a POV camera. And basically, uh, it's 1080p. It's you just released a pro version, where um, it's a POV camera, as in like you mount it on like your helmet or something, right? Yeah, people so do it for sports, but we also have people like firemen and doctors and stuff like using a it too. Penis? Doesn't that uh, look like a penis? <laughs> that's probably not one of those. It yeah, it nope. That's an arm. It's not um, a penis. It's an arm. Sorry. Basically, it's just a pro version, so you can do like live uh, video streaming. There's an HDMI. That's yeah, really cool. I, I it's got just, Bluetooth. It's got uh, GPS. It's kind of slick, actually. Uh, yeah. And he's so just, uh, he, work, he, he, you know, he doesn't like to make any money for saying that. He, he actually happens to work for the company. But the thing I thought mm -hmm. that was neat is the, uh, it has a Bluetooth streaming to uh, an iPhone. Yeah, although you have to buy, Apple needs uh, compatibility chips for, to work with their Do Bluetooth. Do you have to have like a dongle thing? No, it's just, so they just designed it so you have to purchase like an accessory. They're going to make it for Android too, but uh, oh. well, th that doesn't require the chip. Oh, so it's just something that Google makes them do. No, something that Apple makes them do. Oh, that's what I meant. That's yeah. what I meant. Yeah. This, uh, did you mention this also has the GPS? So it does the GPS Has GPS, thing? has Bluetooth, has HDMI streaming, too. has non jack. HDMI out is cool, too. Yeah. But All right, so that's maybe the future of... And that, what's neat is that's 1080p. So that's kind of an interesting... That's like, I could see like mm -hmm. when these are down a little bit in price, I could see like sticking one on Dylan's... Yeah, we don't need to advertise for it, though. No, I, just, I would love the idea of like uh, Dylan running around with one of these on his head. Mm-hmm. So I I that's I think maybe yeah a that, that would be kind of cool I'd like to do that with my all right now too. Peregrine's calling in now Peregrine why don't you give us one of your ideas for the future of uh, technology now what Peregrine what time is it where you're at right now it is a little after five a.m. now oh I'm you are hardcore good morning. Sir. hardcore all right so what's yes, your idea for, what's your idea for future of technology anything you want to kick around well I guess the best way to say it would be sex bots. I know that I, I sent you the link there. I know we talked oh, about yeah, this yeah. before. I was also made for this, us and I didn't get about, anything. Let's talk about sex bots. Right. That doesn't sound like anything we'd ever do. <laughs> you know, the reason why I think this is going to be big is because it's not just a couple of little inventors in their basements that are working on it. You have uh, Hyundai, and um, remember they made that little white dancing robot. That fell down and had trouble um, on the stairs? That one? Well, you know, they're yeah. working on it. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. Another big uh, That's not so convention. bad on a sex robot, no. <laughs> yeah. Well, another big convention in, in Japan, they actually had a robot as the receptionist. People would come in, talk to the robot, and the robot would give them directions on where to go. They're so working creepy. on it now. We're yeah. watching a video of it right yeah. now, Peregrine. It is super freaky, to be honest with you. <laughs> yeah. And, I mean, they are really working on it. And you know that once they finally get them, you know, you can walk into a store and you can mm -hmm. purchase yourself a girlfriend, <laughs> you know, right. like Cherry 2000. Those things will sell themselves. <laughs> You know, I gotta say, for a robotic girlfriend, she's dressed kind of like a prude. I, I, I would expect something like a little bit more. Uh, <laughs> yeah, a little more risky. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I guess so. Yeah, they yeah, have. And it's the... definitely Uncanny Valley still. It's, yeah, it's uh, really bad. They're working actually. on. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you know, it's still pretty amazing. I, I had heard um, just today um, that they did this test with robots. It's only related in the robot sense, not really related in the sex bot sense, which I would like to get back to. <laughs> okay. Um, but. Uh, Basically, they put a bunch of them in a maze. Yeah. And a what? A bunch of robots? Robots. And they were, they were programmed to, to kind of do this. Okay. But they all agreed upon words to, for, like, areas of the maze. So they said, like, center would be, like, you know, Javu or whatever it is. To say, like, meet in Javu so that robots would converge they, they, there. And then wow. they'd agree on other terms for the, ma for the maze. And they were able to work it out together that way. Kind of cool. At, look at this. Now she's looking mean. 
Look at that. She looks angry. No. <gasps> oh, God, that was freaky. <laughs> she, she just yeah. opened her mouth. Yeah. That was so freaky. Yeah. <laughs> that was not good. Well, anger's realistic, get, yeah. yeah. Yeah, they're starting <laughs> to get really good at getting them to uh, listen and respond properly, uh -huh. emulate emotion. Uh, I saw an article a while back about uh, robots where they actually had uh, robots working together, and then uh, they would actively deceive other stranger robots that came in. So they're getting pretty sophisticated. Uh -huh. Wow. And you can't hear it, but I, I assume she's gas-powered. <laughs> <laughs> well, that that's depends on the bottom. There's just part. huge motor going yeah. on in the back. <laughs> Exhaust. That really. depends on the one you get. Yeah. Ones with so the, in the future, I think almost all robots will be sex robots. I wonder if uh, there will be sort of like religious debates or something about using these things. Oh, I wonder. You if, already oh, know. I'm sure. I'm, there's probably people already talking about it. I now, mean, there's religious debates over condom use. I mean, you yeah. think that this isn't going to. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. That's uh -huh. kind of my point, I guess. Well, okay, Peregrine, that's definitely... Wow. It's like surrogates, except for... Uh, yeah, only not... And just think not, what it's going to do to the birth rate <laughs> in first world nations. Way down? Once yeah. They, yeah, once they well, become... Well, if they can afford a sex robot. Robots, uh, then, but what right. happens if these robots start getting pregnant? Then we got a real problem. There you go. There's your birth <laughs> yeah, control. Then you Let's do. just start <laughs> dropping sex robots from planes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, well, Problem. if you can get if the robots could get pregnant, that kind of defeats the purpose of having a robot girlfriend, doesn't it? Give them time; they'll figure it out. They're pretty smart, yeah, like you, you said know. yourself. There you go. Well, Peregrine, that's a good prediction. Anything else? Uh, no, I think that'll about do it. That's All right, awesome. enough. thank you. That was a good one. Thanks for calling in, buddy. Yeah, have, have a good yourself evening. a good evening. Well, or I guess in his case, a good morning. Yeah. Uh, all right, so that leaves the line open if anybody else wants to call in with uh, with their future predictions. Mm -hmm. Johnny, keep an eye on that because I don't always see that. Okay. Thing. Now. Uh, we, I thought we'd kind of talk a little bit about 3D printing. Okay. Because one of the things that 3D printing has uh, going for it is, A, there's a lot of different technologies out there right now. Mm -hmm. Like even ones that are just like, here, you can print foam now. Like, and, I want to print, but only in bubbles. Yeah, if I only wanted to print in bubbles. And you can print out floaty foam things. So there's like competing technologies where things are melted, objects are melted down into, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. isn't that neat if you're watching the video? Look yeah. at that thing go. That was printed. Uh, where you could you melt it down into an object, mm -hmm. or uh, there's another one where uh, different uh, fluids are used, and they come in and they do a layering effect, and they sit there and they ch -ch 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 create it at a time. And now mm -hmm. they're talking about being able to take like biological, biologically grown things, and, and they've actually printed things like ears and whatnot. Have you seen that? No, I they've haven't. they've actually used 3D printing to create uh, an ear, and it was a silicon ear, but it was an actual like perfect replica of an ear. That's kind of awesome. Kind yeah. Of, kind of Mission Impossible. It's so, kind of like cool. replicator stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, because you could also you could also go further out from that. It doesn't have to be like uh, little mm -hmm. flimsy things either. They can actually build some really big, strong things too. Right, so you could have fresh Vulcan ears every day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I I'm not. I wore these yesterday. <laughs> yeah, I can see it. Like right. you know, 15 years from now, it's mm -hmm. going to be like as easy as your automatic coffee machine. Like you just set it in the morning and see, see, see it come on at 7 a.m and print out my new ears. And then when <laughs> right. I smell that latex printing, I'll know I have to get up out of bed. Right, right. And I'll slip them on every day. So that's... I just picture you stumbling around in your bathrobe, half awake, as you try and put your new ears on. Yeah. Which is a great picture for me. Now, there's, this is actually even available like in the consumer space. Like Here's, a, here's a, an example of a Mac mm -hmm. application. And this app here, you run it and you design it and you have to create... Think about this. When you go to submit your print job, it has to exist in like a 3D space. Mm -hmm. And so you can actually print out like um, 3D models and stuff. So film designers are using this to design up a 3D model for like a film project. Mm -hmm. And then you know how they would normally have to go and build out a model with clay and stuff? They can just do it with the printer and then paint it yep. that way. Yep. So how big are these printers generally? Oh, it depends. There's all kinds. There's ones and, and what do they feed into them? I mean, you, you talk about like plastics and... Plastics and or, or fluids or ceramics is okay. another one. They can actually do them with ceramics and then mm -hmm. there's, it actually cures the object. But you need too. a different printer for each thing. I yeah, imagine, there's a bunch so. of different competing technologies. Right. And, I, and I don't know all of the ones that have really taken off, but mm -hmm. I know it's also starting to be used in construction where they'll, they'll model out like an area of a building that they can just feed it from like the... I, don't think I would imagine that that'd be one of the primary uses for this, yeah. really. Yeah, yeah. Um, but... Other things as well. You'd probably want to like, um, I mean, I can imagine you, you talked about ears, but like just re regular organs and stuff for doctors to practice on. Yeah. Or there's just a ton of uses. What about for like really. for consumers? Like I, I know that they've, there's even one technology that's sort of in a lot of ways mm -hmm. a, a similar to inkjets. Right. So what if they did something like just you know, years down the road where you could have an inkjet and, you know, your daughter would want to make like a Christmas card, but she could make mm -hmm. like, a, like a 3D object now. And so she'd be on the computer mm -hmm. and. She'd go and get a, you know, a clip art template thing, right. and she'd print out like this nice, cool little object. So what we need to do is merge this so you can print out your own sex spot. Well, I mean, if you, you could, know, You know, within 
Uh, oh yeah, within I mean, a week of this like becoming like mainstream, there'll be like people at least at least flashlights. Yeah, create your own flashlight yeah. at home. It totally totally would happen. <laughs> You know, you build a down. It's a ceramic. You download. Okay, I don't want to get too explicit here, but you know, you would right. download different templates online. Right. You know, uh, right. all right, we got to call. Uh, Doctor Cause wants to call in and share okay. his thoughts on future technology. But I'm just saying, I think you'd have templates that you'd be able to. Yeah, use. you think so? And then there'd probably be famous ones. Mm -hmm. Maybe some templates you'd pay a little more. They'd be a premium. Right. Hey, Doctor Cause, how's it Hello. going? Welcome to the show. It's going good. How are you guys doing? We're good. 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 Thanks for do calling. You, do you have a prediction on a future technology? Yes, I think now that everybody's getting flat screen TVs, I think now they'll be integrating uh, 1080p web cameras into the actual unit now. I think so. I think that's a pretty good call. Yeah. For uh, and phones. Yeah. I bet. Well, I got to ask you this: What mm. about? Uh, did you got a connect right? Uh, yeah, I, got, I have a connect. So now you have a camera on your mm. big screen TV. Right. And Microsoft just bought Skype. Yep. They could turn that into a video conference machine overnight. Boom! Boom! That yeah. would be pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, well, they already said that um, Skype's coming to the Xbox as soon as they get uh, everything settled. Did you mm -hmm. get a connect, Dr. Cos? Yes, I do. So, okay, so you're in the same boat. You would have that. You wouldn't even have to have a built-in. But you're saying, like, like Pioneer would make, a, with, uh, would make one with, like, one built into it? Right. You know how, like, your laptop already has it built in? It would already come built in at the top. What software would they use, though? I mean, would it just, would it be Skype, or what do you think? Well, what, I don't know what they even use now. Because I know you can hook up a regular web camera to your some TVs and if yeah, they're internet ready. Yeah, I don't know what right. they use, but you would, they'd need to be something so that way you could call other TVs. You wouldn't want it so just like <coughs> only Vizio customers could call only other Vizio TVs. You right. know what I mean? Right. Well, Microsoft now got Skype, so I'm pretty sure they'll pimp it out to all the TV makers. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> Blisk in the chat room is also pointing out uh, Google TV. Google TV could be an interesting way for some of this to work in. You could always maybe, maybe Google comes up with the standard video conferencing platform. Mm -hmm. Right. Maybe. Hmm. Well, that's a good prediction, Dr. Cos. Yeah, I, I like so. that one. All right, dude. Well, thanks for calling yeah. in. No problem, man. Have a good ha one. Have a good evening. All right. So that opens up the line if any of the other uh, streamers want to call in. But I think uh, we'll leave that open. But as we go, I wanted to cover a story that is just a little bit off the beaten path. I got, I got another example of a 3D printer. And this one's cool because right. they print ball bearings. But that's actually not what I wanted to talk about. I mean, yes, that's neat. You right. can print ball bearings. Printing balls. Printing, printing, let's see, right there, mm -hmm. printing balls. And they do it, in this, in this instance, they're doing it at uh, one layer at a time. And the video, they also go to point out actually how fabulously fast this thing works when you're considering it's constructing something one layer at a time. Seriously. But what I actually wanted to talk about, Johnny John, okay. was uh, this funny insurance story that came up. Yeah. yeah. I, I just, I don't <laughs> like, know. It doesn't is, really this fit. Is not related at all. Not at all, but I just love to follow like the off-the-beaten-path news. Uh -huh. And whenever we can, we're going to do a show and have a fun moment. I mean, it's Thursday. Come on, it's our right. Friday. Yeah check out this story so an insurance firm mm -hmm. and this is pretty interesting an insurance firm held these large crazy sex parties for and the sales representative. for their yeah for the sales reps the people to oh. bring in the money and uh, they even went as far as handing out colored wristbands to indicate who belonged to who now <laughs> i just love I, I, lo I love the fact that they think that they can like do this and like yeah no it's totally cool this is just this is just what we're doing yeah and nobody's and, and gonna nobody's know. know or care if they do know oh my gosh I mean now they're the sexy insurance company like first of all I mean it's insurance uh -huh. it's not like you're selling like uh, the rights to diamond mines or something right you know what I mean it's yeah. kind of weird that like insurance Some, is so it's generally at least normally at least partially legitimate you know it's uh, yeah. I mean, there's some shady insurance companies out yeah. there, but there's a lot of real ones too. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I just, I just can't believe that this industry goes down this route. I mean, does every industry have like this underbelly that is just? <laughs> yeah, I know. it's like the insurance like, industry, really. You it's, know, they're doing a good. We should reward them somehow. Yeah, like oh, sh should we buy them a computer or something? How can we motivate these people to sell more insurance? Bonus sex parties. <laughs> you know, it's just some guy at the table. Well. uh... I got an idea. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> or, or where does it start at? Yeah, does it start at like at first? Okay, like, I was with a whore last night. Yeah. And yeah. I had a great time. <laughs> <laughs> and that just made me think, yeah. you know what we could do to incentivize people? Uh -huh. No, I figure it starts out with like a company lunch. Hey, right. everybody, you hit your sales goals. We're going to take you out to lunch. You can even have a beer. We'll buy it. They're just hanging out. Like, what do you like doing? Yeah. Oh, I, I, yeah, these lunches are know. great. What, what but do you, you like know doing? what might actually make us sell a little better? I love <laughs> fucking whores. Excuse me. 
Nice. <laughs> I love that. But horse. You're going to yeah. that now. Maybe, if I remember. <laughs> uh, so anyways, I thought that was mm-hmm. a fun story. And hey, you know what? It even gave me a chance to swear on Jupiter Nights, so that's always good, go. too. Uh, all right. Now, uh, future technology, we'll just end on the whole con- on the whole, uh, on the whole 3D printing element is, uh, if, you're, if you want to read up more, uh, there's actually a pretty great Wikipedia article. And I also include uh, an article that I found on Reddit with uh, some of the different uh, colleges that are sort of starting up with their 3D printing. Uh, I don't know if they're full courses, but they're, mm-hmm. you get in their labs and you get to experiment with 3D printing in, in college now. So people are getting That's in. That's pretty cool, you know, just seeing that kind of technology. Getting just, in the hands of people mm-hmm. that are, you know, getting trained. That's on. how it works. I mean... That's how that generation will come out with Gates did it even with the yeah stuff yeah. At, at University of Washington. That's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. And uh, if you've got a chance to play with one of these three D printers, or if you know some cool projects that have been done on them, let us know in the comments, and we'd love to read that. Please. All right, everyone. Well, Jupiter at Night comes out Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday over at JupiterBroadcasting dot com. And uh, Stoked will be live this weekend if you want to tune in over at jblive.tv at 11 a.m. Pacific, and then followed up by the Linux Action Show on Sunday at 10 a.m. Pacific. And that's all over at jblive.tv. All right, everyone. Well, thanks so much for watching this whole week of Jupiter at Night, and we'll see you next Tuesday.